The barrier to entry has dropped so low that literally any developer can sell anything they want to online right now. Because in the past, especially for back-end developers like myself, who didn't know as much about web design, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, it was a real pain in the ass to figure out how to design a web page that looked nice, how to create a landing page that perfectly showed off your course, ebook, or whatever else it is you want to sell online. And this made it pretty difficult for developers who didn't have that front end experience to, to break into that. Or even if it was something like building your own SaaS product and creating a landing page that would actually get people to sign up. That was really difficult because we didn't have the technical skills to do that. Well, it's one of the reasons that I spent 13 years in back-end development, never really moving into front-end, always hiding in the background with my back-end APIs and never actually creating something with a visual appeal because I didn't see myself as someone who had those skills. Well, literally yesterday, I published a new page on my website, which is a landing page for my ebook, my tech and technical ebook about a Java build tool. But that's not the point. The point is, is that I created a beautiful landing page, I might say, but the, the thing that I'm so impressed by is how good the layout is. And of course, the way I've done this is using AI. I'm using Cursor AI to basically prompt it to create a landing page to my liking. So what I basically did is I wrote out a rough version of what I wanted the, the copy the text on my landing page to be, I gave that to AI and I told it that I want you to create a beautiful landing page from this. Here's the cover of my book and basically do your own thing. I let it generate a landing page and the first version was okay. It was better than I was expecting, to be honest. It automatically came with the, the padding, the layout, the mobile responsiveness that it looks nice on a narrow screen. It had that all by default when the AI generated the, the code in the background. And basically all I had to do was prompt it. So I prompted it to, to follow a blue style, which follows the color of my actual book cover. And I told it how to create the buttons, what color the buttons should be, to use a centered layout, to make the text bigger or smaller. All of these little things were prompts that I gave it based on my own feedback as a human being, looking at it, thinking that looks crap or that could look better. And rather than me having to come up with the specific style or class to apply, I just let AI do that for me. And the result, I'm sure you'll agree, is a beautiful looking landing page for my book that gives me a basis to, to now iterate and improve. Whereas before it would have taken days, if not weeks, to come up with something that looked mediocre because my skills were, in terms of layout and design, my skills are mediocre at best. And now that I can leverage, yes, I love that word, leverage. Now that I can leverage AI to help me, I feel like I'm some kind of web design wizard and I can create all these cool things with SVG icons and bullet points that are actually circles and book covers that enlarge in a very satisfying way when your mouse hovers over the top of it. All these little bits of sugar, let's say, I would never have considered possible before, but now I can do them thanks to AI. Now, Based on my experience of building this landing page, there are a few things that I've realized that you need to know what to do to get the best result out of AI. And there are three things that I'm gonna mention here. The first one is, obviously you need to be as descriptive as possible in your prompt if you want to get a result that's gonna be anywhere near decent. What I mean by that is, you need to give it all the copy. You need to give it a rough idea of what sort of layouts you like. You need to give it an idea of what color scheme you like, because otherwise it's just gonna go with like the, the average or the default option, which might be loads of nasty rainbow colors that doesn't suit your style at all. Now, the second thing, the second thing you've got to watch out for 
What is the second thing? The second thing I recommend you do is you need to have some idea of how things are working in the background. And I have a good idea that I'm using Tailwind CSS and I'm using Daisy UI to create beautiful looking web pages with minimal styling. Because I don't want AI to go and create a 10,000 line long style sheet because it thinks it needs to create everything from scratch. I want AI to create code that's actually gonna be maintainable, that I can still understand, even if I'm not the one that has to individually add the PX2 and PY4 padding or whatever. I'm not the one adding that, but I want it to use that framework because that's a framework I understand and I can maintain that code going forward. So make AI work within the limits of whatever best practices you're following on your own project. Now, the third point is basically AI is good at giving you a starting point, at least with landing pages. And now that I've got a starting point, I'm pretty excited to continue working on this landing page, improving it in terms of the layout and the copy and adding extra little things that I get from being inspired by other landing pages. And to be honest, I copied quite a lot of my landing page from a book landing page from the indie hacker Peter Levels. He's got loads of great ideas about how to make your ebook landing page more enticing. Some of these things AI can come up with on its own, but some of these things it can't. And I think once you've got a good base that AI has put into place, you can go and take inspiration from other places and then basically go to AI and say, hey, I just saw this cool bottom bar that always stays open with a buy button on it. I don't know what the technical name is, but it doesn't matter because I can just say that to AI and it's going to know what I mean and it's going to add that in there. In fact, whatever you're building, whether it's a landing page or whether it's a SaaS product or anything else, as long as you're building with software, you can get inspired by other people or other products and just incorporate that feature into your own product by describing it to AI and letting it do its dirty business. So the final thought I want to leave you with is if maybe you are a back-end developer or any other kind of developer who's been shying away from front-end, CSS, HTML, all that interactive JavaScript stuff, if you've been shying away from that, maybe now is your moment to get inspired, create something, any kind of web page, whether it's a landing page or an article or any other personal blog landing page, web page, whatever, you can get inspired to create things now and you can use AI to make it look beautiful without having to have the design skills yourself. And for me, and maybe for you too, that's gonna to open up a world of opportunity and that's pretty exciting. I'll see you in the next one.